Hello and welcome. I'm going to do another quick Excel problem today. A uh, brief shout out before I start to the handful of people who've been loyally following me for my last few videos. I finally got a microphone. The sound quality will hopefully not be so bad anymore. Fingers crossed. Let me know. Uh, so <laughs> having said that, I'm going to do uh, another one of the Battle of 16 uh, round one problems. So again, it's kind of meant to be a 10 minute problem. Um, and we'll we'll try and bash through it pretty quickly. So uh, the idea is, you know, you're you're uh, scoring a bowling game. Um, so you know, if you're hopefully you're familiar. If you're not, you might need a longer explanation than I'm about to give. But here's the quick version. Uh, you got ten frames in bowling. In each frame, you bowl two balls. Uh, you're trying to hit ten pins. So you knock over some number of them between zero and ten on the first one, and then if there's any standing, you bowl a second ball and you knock over between zero and whatever number is left. Uh, so if you uh, if you knock over all the pins on the first uh, ball, that's recorded as an X in the first column. So you see there's two columns for each frame. Uh, if you knock over all the remaining pins on the second one, that's recorded as a slash, and otherwise it just records the number. So, you know, here's 9 in the first one, 0, here's 8, then 1, and so on. <clears throat> and then uh, the 10th frame looks a little bit funky because there's different uh, scoring rules. So if you, um, if you get a uh, strike meaning knock them all over the first time, or you get a spare, meaning you knock them all over between the first two, then you bowl three balls on the last turn, and some number of those go toward bonus points. So for the bonus points, if you get a strike, then you add the number of pins you knock over on your next two balls to your score. Uh, so let's just grab one that has a strike. So you get a strike here, then you knock nothing over on your next pin, but 10 over on your next one after that. So you get a total of 10 bonus points, as well as the 10 for knocking over 10 pins. So you get 20 points. Let's find another strike. Uh, these are all strikes followed by a spare. Here's a strike that's not. So here's a strike followed by 9 and 0. So you'd get 19 for the strike. Uh, and then for a spare, same idea, except you just get the one next one. So in other words, here you knock over everything on the second one. Then you get you add that 3, the next one ball, not the next, uh, not the next whole frame, or not the next two. So here you'd get 13 points for that strike, and then you get nine for knocking over nine here. You'd get 10 and a bonus five, so 15 for this one, and so on across. Uh, and you're told that uh, in the first 15 games there'll be no strikes and spares, and then in 16 to 30 no strikes, and 31 to 75 no strikes or spares in the last frame, which is a little more complicated. And then in the last 25 games everything is possible. Um, so let's sort of jump on in. Uh, I've set it up uh, to kind of score me live uh, because I have the answers on a, on a different sheet. So we'll just kind of track that as I go along. First thing I'll quickly mention is when there's no, for the first 15 games, when there's no strikes and spares, you can just sum them all up because that's all it is, just how many pins got knocked down. You get a point for each pin and no bonus points because there's no strikes or spares. Uh, so you can get the first 150 out of 1,000 pretty quickly there. Uh, but anyway, that's just a special case. Let's go and solve the whole thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is just copy this whole grid uh, so that I have the column widths and also the uh, format. So I'll paste format and widths uh, and also, sorry, uh, and also frame numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, figure out the number of pins knocked over because there's all these different you know strike and spare symbols and also zeros are just a dash here which is not super helpful. So I'm going to start off by just saying equals if. So if this is a strike then that's 10 pins. If it is a spare now, a spare can't ever come up in the first half of a frame. It can only come up in the second half of the frame. But if you have one formula that covers both, then you can copy it all the way across. You don't have to have you know, one formula for the first column and a different one for the second column. Easier to do it that way. So if it's a spare, then it's going to be 10 minus uh, the number of pins immediately before. Uh, and otherwise, it's just going to be the number of pins. And I'm going to wrap that in an N, because N will return 0 for these text dashes. Uh, I think that's all I need to do. Let's have a quick look. Uh, let's keep on down to the bottom. So first things first, uh, no errors. That's good. Uh, that means 
that I've dealt with the text okay. Uh, second thing, let's look at, okay, here's a spare, I guess. Yep, the spare is all along there. So you get zero adds up to 10, four and six adds up to 10, five, okay, six and three, this one hopefully is not a spare. Yes, uh, and then we zip down and find a strike. And make sure, yep, that's reporting a 10. Okay, so that's that part. And then the second part is to go from the number of pins to the number of points. So I'll copy this over again. Uh, and then just delete everything from down there. And then in this case, I only want to have uh, one cell populated per frame. But again, if I, if I say, you know, here's for frame one, two, three, four. Oh, why has that text gone white? That's weird. Copy that format across. That's better. So if I just went one, two, three, four, five, etc., for my frames across here, rather than spacing them out with two columns each, even though I only need one formula for each one, then I'd have to adjust the formula each time because you know if I copied from here to here, I'd go from referring to you know these first two columns to these middle two columns, which isn't any good. So that's why even though there's only going to be formulas in one of the columns, I'm still keeping two columns per frame. So having said that, uh, the points are it's the number of pins you actually knock over, and then it's plus the bonus points. So if it's a strike, if this equals x, sorry, not that one, uh, well, if this one equals 10, same thing, then I'm going to add this, and then plus, so this is the thing where it's important that you're looking at the next two balls. So there could be two balls in the next frame, but if the first ball in the next frame is a strike, then you're adding the first one here and the first one in the next frame along again. So I've already got the first ball in the next one, then if that first ball is a strike, then I'm adding in this one. Otherwise, the second ball is going to be the, uh, in that same frame. Uh, and then otherwise zero. So in other words, no strike bonus points if you don't get a strike. And then next thing is if, uh, so I can just say if sum of these two equals 10. So in other words, if it's a spare, uh, actually wait, sorry. I'll put this in the else side of the strike argument. So I'm saying if the first one is a 10, then do this thing. Otherwise, if the first one is not a 10, but the sum of them is a 10. So in other words, that is a spare, but not a strike. Uh, then I just add in that. Uh, there's maybe a simpler way to write that formula, but I think that'll do. So that will do for the first several frames, and then we'll probably need to adjust for the last couple because things are a little weird here. So let's take for frame eight, should be fine because you're only pointing as far as the start of frame 10 and it's only in frame 10 that things get weird. So frame 9, let's take a closer look. Uh, so you, some of the points fine. If it's a strike, then you get the first one here and then it's going to be the next ball even if it is a strike. So I'm just going to replace all of this with AX plus AY. Then if it's a spare, you'll just get AX. So that the rest of that is fine. And then 10 is going to be, mm, I think 10 is just going to be the sum of these three. Because if you get a strike, then there's only one that's original pins, but then there's two that are bonus pins. If you get a spare, there are two that are original pins and one that's bonus pins. And if you don't get a strike or a spare, that last one's going to be empty anyway. So that's just a straight sum, I think. And then we can just go back over here. Say equal sum. of these. And let's see, maybe I'll get it right first time, or maybe I'll have to do some debugging. Fingers crossed. Hey, it worked first time. Awesome. Uh, and a good little, you know, if you didn't have the score here, because obviously I just added that to, so that I would know if I had lied to you about a good technique here. But uh, if you didn't have this column here, then a good sense check would be to see uh, that you know the highest score you have down here is 300, because the most points you can get on any frame is 30 if you get a strike and then two more strikes on your next two balls. So if you get strikes on all 10 frames and then strikes on both of your last two bonus balls, then you get 30 on every frame, which totals 300. So that's kind of a good sense check to see that you don't have anything above 300. Uh, 
Uh, that's all I've got, I think. Told you it'd be a quick one.